What's up guys, this week I'm building a corn toss game and it's just in time for all the graduation parties and family get togethers that you'll have over the summer. So I hope you guys enjoy. So here's the materials. Four two by fours at eight feet long. Two boards that are two feet wide, four feet long and a half inch thick. You won't need a whole box, but you'll need some three inch exterior screws and you'll need some one and five eighths inch long exterior screws as well. Four half inch bolts that are four inches long at least. Mine are four and a half inches long. Twelve washers that are half inch and four wing nuts that are a half inch. And finally, optional but highly recommended, some type of exterior paint to protect the wood or some type of clear coating that will protect the wood. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut all four of my two by fours into three different sections. I'm gonna do a 12 inch piece, a 21 inch piece, and a 48 inch piece. And that's gonna use 81 inches of this two by four. And I'm gonna do that for all four of my two by fours, which is gonna give me four of each piece. So let's go ahead and make these cuts in the miter saw. First thing I'm gonna do is square up the board just by cutting a little bit off the end. So now I have all my pieces cut and all the 12 inch pieces are gonna be for the feet. So I can go ahead and set these aside for now because what I wanna do is I wanna focus on the 21 inch pieces and the 48 inch pieces and these are gonna to connect to the plywood and make the main outside of, of, of the core toss game. Now what I have here is one of the boxes laid out and basically what I'm gonna do is I put the 21 inch pieces on the inside you want the 48 inch pieces running on the outside. And I'm just gonna attach these using the three inch screws. And I'm gonna do this from the outside to secure a nice solid box. So I can go ahead and do this for both of my boxes. So to make this all go a little bit quicker, what I did was I took some cutoffs from the two by fours. I drilled them right into my workbench on a 90 degree angle. So I can take a 21 inch piece, put it up against there, take my four foot piece, Bottle up against this side, and now I can come and drill perfectly 90 degrees every single time. This is really going to help speed up the process. When I'm drilling near the end of a board, I always like to drill pilot holes, and it really helps guide the screw in and prevents from cracking. And I'll also add a countersink to make it sit flush on the board as well. sped it up. But now it's the true test, does the, which is, does the plywood fit on the corn toss game? And we'll find out. So it looks like we have a winner. And now I can go ahead, screw this down by pre-drilling, countersinking, then adding the inch and five eighths inch screws into these. Now I'll just add those on here where I feel necessary. Then from here I can go ahead and start cutting out the circle 
in the middle. really nice on the top and just in case I put blue painters tape around the circle underneath you can see it but not as well so I just redid the circle on top of the painters tape so now when it cuts it I won't get any tear out or theoretically I shouldn't get any tear out and I will have a perfect hole now I'm gonna use a jigsaw some people will use like a six inch hole saw on this and it's just really easy to drill it out but I don't really have like 40 bucks to spend on that right now. So I'm just gonna go slow with my jigsaw and hopefully it comes out pretty good. sanding and just kind of clean up the hole and try to make it perfectly fit to the line. By making this rounded it can rotate freely in the corner instead of if it was like a square then it'd be like hitting a bunch of stuff. So rounded is definitely the way to go. And now I can rotate on that free axis. So now I need to drill the half inch holes so that I can put my half inch bolt through it and put the legs on. Now what I need to do is take a tape measure, measure down one and three quarter inches on here, put a mark. I'm gonna go ahead and do this for all my pieces. Take a tape measure and measure one and three quarter inches in the opposite direction. So I have the middle of each leg, and on these points, what I want to do is I want to drill out my inch and a half or half inch hole on all four of my legs, and I can go ahead and do that over at the drill press. and clean. All right, so the easiest way to attach a leg is just take it, put it, and put it in the corner. And now that I have these holes drilled out, I can go ahead and take my drill with the half inch bit. This first hole is gonna align it. So when I drill the second hole with a hand drill, it's basically gonna keep it aligned. But what I'm gonna do is take just a quarter inch piece of wood, put it in here so there's just a little bit of, bit of wiggle room. I'm gonna go ahead and take a clamp and secure it all nice and snug. And then from here, I can go ahead and I can start drilling out the holes on the actual board. all the way through each board. Now I just have to do that on all the three other legs and we'll be all set to go. All right, so after I took all these boards and I sanded them down and everything, I brushed all the sawdust off and now I'm ready to apply some paint on. And this is all gonna be done before I add the legs. So you wanna paint it all separate and then we'll go ahead and put the hardware on after it's all painted.
painted it white because I'm gonna add a decal to it, but I don't have them yet. So I'm gonna add a decal on mine so it's gonna be white with the logo on the back. But uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and attach the legs. As for the legs, they're pretty easy to install. Basically you need a bolt, three washers, and a wing nut for each leg. What I like to do is I take a, a washer, put it on, then I slide it through the outside hole. So I have a washer on the outside. And then I go ahead and I take a washer to give it some space between the leg and the wood. And I go ahead and I slide that on as well. And then from here I take the final washer, I put it on the outside and I take the final wing nut, I put it on the outside. And what I do is you can put this on and then you tighten it down when it's in storage, loosen it, put it in position, and then you can tighten it in position so it doesn't move. And this makes for uh, really easy storage, and it's really easy to set up and put away when it's like this. So if I can get this wing nut on here, then we're all set. And basically what you have to do is just do this for all four of your legs, and you'll be all set to play some corn toss. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more woodworking videos every Tuesday, and I'll see you guys next week.